The Lagos State Police Command is not leaving any stone unturned in its search for the real killers of Mobad, a Lagos-based Nigerian artist. After arresting the nurse that gave him injection before he died, the police command has exhumed the corpse of the lead singer who was buried in Ikorodu. The Lagos State Police Command Public Relations Officer SP Benjamin Hundini confirmed the development to our source in an exclusive telephone interview on Thursday. Mobad's corpse has been assumed and an autopsy will begin as soon as possible, SP Hundeni stated. However, responding to a further inquiry by our source concerning arrest made by the police in connection with the lead singer's death, SP Hundeni added saying, I can't answer questions on the arrest yet because I don't have that update. However, the nurse is in our custody, I can confirm that. Also, our source reports that the Acting Inspector General of Police, Olu Kayode Egbetokun, had earlier issued a directive to the Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Idowu Owuhiwa, instructing him to initiate a swift and comprehensive investigation into the tragic death of Mobad. The first public relations officer, Olumiyuwa Adejobi, made the development known to our source. According to the words of Olumiyuwa Adejobi, the acting inspector general of police, Olukayode Egwetokun, has issued a direct and urgent directive to the Lagos State Commissioner of Police, instructing him to initiate a swift and comprehensive investigation into the tragic death of Ile Oruwa Oladimeji Aloba, widely known as Mobad. This directive was conveyed during a brief but crucial discussion at the police headquarters. He tasked the CP to quickly and effectively unravel the truth behind the tragedy as there have been understandable concerns and speculations surrounding the circumstances of his untimely demise. The Nigerian police force hereby earnestly urges any family members or close associates possessing valuable information pertaining to this case to come forward and cooperate with the Lagos State Police Command to ensure that justice is served and the circumstances surrounding Mobile's demise are thoroughly examined. Meanwhile, Consequent upon the growing public concerns and the preliminary police review of the general circumstances surrounding the death of Mobad, the Lagos State CP had earlier directed the commencement of a full-scale criminal investigation into the case. Our source reports that the circumstances leading to the death of Mobad, who died on Tuesday, 12 September 2023, at the age of 27 years old is yet to be unraveled and ascertained. Giving an update on the case, SP Hundeni said, to this end, the Commissioner of Police has constituted a special investigation team within the homicide section of the State Criminal Investigation Department to coordinate the investigation. In aid of this initiative, the Lagos State Government has pledged its total support to the Special Investigation Team in all ways required to guarantee a diligent investigative exercise. Governor Babajide Sanwolu gave this assurance while consulting with the State Commissioner of Police earlier today on how best to ensure that the case is investigated and justice delivered promptly. Meanwhile, the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sanwolu had invited the Department of Security Services DSS to join in the investigation of the tragic death of late singer Mobad. This was contained in a statement signed by Lagos State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Wenga Omotoso, 
on Tuesday. The state government also commiserated with the family and fans of the former Malian record signee. We feel the pains of losing such a talented and promising young man who made a name for himself in a highly competitive industry. May the Almighty grant his soul rest and comfort his bereaved family and fans, the statement read. In addition to the police special investigative team in Lagos to probe the death of Mobad, Mr. Babajide Sanwolu, the governor of Lagos State, has invited the DSS to join the investigation and widen the dragnet with interagency collaboration and use of best-in-class technology to bring out the truth. Governor Sanwolu has directed that all those who may have played any role whatsoever in any event leading to the death of Mobad be made to face the full rot of the law after a thorough investigation. Consequently, the DSS has also joined in the investigation so as to get justice for the young star, his family and his teaming fans, the statement added. The Lagos State Government pleaded with all those who may have vital information that may assist the investigation process to avert the investigating team of such. Government also appeals to the investigating team to guarantee the confidentiality and protection of all witnesses who may come forward with vital information or indicative evidence that may assist the process, it added. Our source further reports that the management of Mobad on Monday night announced a candlelight procession and tribute night for the late artist. Since Mobad's death, his music fans and sympathizers have called for a proper investigation to know the actual cause of his death. Taking to the social media handles of the late singer, the management appreciates the outpouring of love from fans across the world to the ones who have organized events in their communities as a way to honor and pay respect to our shining light, we say thank you. Join us for Mobad's candlelight procession and tribute concert, the statement concluded. Also, human rights lawyer and senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falana, stated on Wednesday that Omawomi, the wife of Mobad, visited him to demand justice for her late husband. Speaking with our source in Abuja, Femi Falana noted that he had visited the commissioner of police in Lagos State, adding that the CP had assured him that investigations has been launched and autopsy is still in process. <laughs>